What up, everybody? Welcome to the Lunatic Asylum. You got me, Lunatic Froggy, and you got Dad, Lunatic Dad. As we always say when we begin the show, give me hell yeah! Hell yeah! Okay. So what we got today, Lunatic Froggy, my daughter, what is the subject we're going to cover? Today, we are going to discuss how to maintain your channel after monetization. Ah, that is a subject in which daddy has a lot of knowledge, and I'm going to give you guys the do's and definitely not the don'ts. Now, I, you, would you like to go first or me, darling? Well, I have, I ain't monetized yet, but I have a feeling that a lot of the maintaining is, is keeping yourself in perspective and check on, like, clickbait and stuff. Yes and no. Okay. Sometimes clickbait is good, but the downside to clickbait is when you got new people coming onto your channel for the first time and you clickbait them and they go on there and check it out and it has nothing to do whatsoever with the title or anything, then they're going to turn around and A, they won't subscribe to you. That ain't going to happen. And two, they'll probably never come back to your channel again. Right, because I don't like being lied to, and I'm sure you don't. 100% accurate, my daughter. Now, the other flip side to it is the clickbaiting can also get you your channel out there more because that one video might be clickbait, but you may have a shit ton of very good content that the person may look past that clickbait and look at the rest of your channel, and then they still might subscribe. But I personally am against clickbaiting due to the fact is you're being dishonest to the people that are coming to your channel. Clickbait is, if you're monetized, a lot of your bigger YouTubers and everything else who do do clickbait and everything else, they're just worried about the ad revenue, okay? Right. They're not, they don't look at people as people these real high i'm talking you know million two million subs and everything else they don't care about the little guy and they will click bait the shit out of us all so if my words to the wise if you're first getting monetized and you've been monetized and everything else i would say stay away from click baiting only for the fact is you want to try to build the trust and you want people repeat customers and it is that's what dad calls it is repeat customers and yes there are some you know that are close to dad, like you for little froggy and everything else. There are people that I consider family, but the bottom line is no to clickbait. I give an X. Big X. Now, my question is, okay, so we did the truth about lunatic dad. We did an interview with you. Is that considered clickbait or is that just considered a catchy title? I would say that is 100% non-clickbait. Because by uh, invoking my name, Lunatic Dad, you actually had me up there. Right. And we were discussing things and everything else. Now, if you would have said Lunatic Dad and then played a video of me and it, I wasn't live, I wasn't talking to you or whatever, and you just put, you know, uh, live with Lunatic Dad or you put, you know, uh, uh, things you need to know about lunatic dad and then you threw up a video of me and you pulled one of my videos off my channel that would be clickbait that would be 100 percent right and because that would be bad be there with me but now when i do react to your channels i always say reacting to lunatic dad yeah that's fine that's fine because you're, you're letting them know that this is already a video that's in existence in the algorithm and everything else. And you're just giving your personal opinion on something. That's not clickbait, any type of personal opinions about stuff. But if you're going to go ahead and use anything that is misleading to the person that's watching your videos, anything that's misleading is clickbait. I mean, you got severe clickbait where it's like, you know, like nothing at all to do with the title. Nothing. Right. And nothing, I mean, literally. But you got a little bit where it's not so bad clickbait is where, say, you put, you know, dad destroys some shit or whatever. And I just go ahead and get mad and I pound on the table. You'd be like, well, you know, that's, that's not, not destroying anything. That's not destroying. I'm just pounding on the table. But exactly. if I turn around and take uh, a bottle or a can or whatever and I smash it, well, then... You're not clickbaiting because I did do 
something in that video relating to uh, destroying something. So, but clickbaiting to me is a cheap way out and a quick way to go ahead and get your views and everything else. I, again, I, 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 I don't follow people or subscribe to people who clickbait. I don't. Now, other people who watch this video and everything else, that's your opinion. If you want to go ahead and follow people like that or whatever, hey, more power to you. I don't have to hit that subscribe button for it. Right. Which, is, which um, I notice a lot of people will 3 o'clock a.m. videos and a lot of times it's just fake. Which brings up my next subject I want to talk about is can fake. we uh yes can we we'll pause it on one second okay so back to where we were uh what about baking stuff like you know those 3 a.m this happened videos where or Siri did this at 3 a.m. and it's all literally just fake stuff. Well, that that again falls underneath the category of clickbait. I mean, anything fake and not real and something that is misleading to the YouTuber or people in which watch videos is all clickbait. That all is tied into one. I mean, because you're basically being deceitful to the people who watch your channel. Right. And believe it or not, I, I, I personally believe that... that uh, YouTube should go ahead and take down channels that are misleading content. Uh, they don't do it. They do have the ability to do it. And they also, it's against their policy to do clickbaiting and everything else. That's actually illegal to go ahead and do in YouTube world. And so, I mean, they still allow it. Why? Because no one's reporting it. And, or, or if it's a big enough YouTuber, they really don't care due to the fact is the revenue that is being generated on the ads and everything else that Make they, they figure the profit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, it's corporate America. I mean, bottom line, YouTube, Google, everything, everything's corporate America. So as long as they got their hands in it and they're making money and it's not hurting anybody physically or mentally or whatever, then they probably just figure, hell, let it go and everything else. But, you know, if you actually look in the terms of service when you're monetizing everything else, clickbaiting is forbidden. You're not supposed to do it. Right, which a lot of people, um, I noticed that a lot of people get hounded on about that. Yes, yes. Uh, now, on my channel, I've never clickbaited. You will not find out of the 970-something videos, there has never been, dad, dad's never done clickbaiting whatsoever on any video, period. What Whatever the title is, there will be at some point in time content relating to that title and everything right. else. Because there are a lot of people that will mislead people. And, I, you know, I get it. I get it. If you're monetized, you know, you want to be able to get the, see, right there. That's not clickbait. You actually told Chopper to shut up. That That was correct. That, that's that's a good uh, evidence that it's not clickbait what we're talking about. Right. Uh, actually, I had my mic muted so they couldn't hear me yell that. <laughs> we're doing Hi, actual mommy. video. Uh, that's clickbait right there. See, that's clickbait right there. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. We're doing a actually free record. Why are you going to clickbait me in my head, woman? See? <laughs> so anybody watching this, anybody watching this, you just got proof. Dad gets clickbaited by his own wife and gets smacked in the back of the head religiously. So if you want to go ahead and say you feel bad for dad, that's not clickbait. That's fact. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Where were we? Where were we? So what is another subject, another thing that you would say you really need to have in order to maintain your channel? It's consistency. Now, dad is probably one of the most inconsistent YouTubers over this period of time in the beginning i wasn't i had set days that i went ahead and uploaded videos and everything else it would be a monday or a friday or whatever what you're doing is you're you're basically not training your people but the people who actually watch your channel and everything else they you know tell what them. to expect on what days exactly exactly and the purpose of that is it's going to bring up your view count that's without a shadow of a doubt it will eventually right. bring it up 
and you're going to get more people getting into you're going to also leave them on a like a hangnail hey what what is froggy going to upload next what is it going to be about what what's going on you know you know what's the topic is it juicy is it something that is it drama is it you know or like in dad's case is it destruction is he is he just messing with the family or is mama doing something or whatever that was in the beginning the early days of lunatic dad but now i mean i'm so unpredictable who the hell knows i can put one up on monday one on a sunday one 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 it all depends it all depends on the mood and it all depends on what the hell's going down in my family and everything else but right. But I would say definitely scheduling, get a set schedule in, in the beginning while you're monetizing everything else. Stay true to your schedule and your times. Because when you start bouncing around all over the place on your times, that's where you're going to start seeing a big up and a big down. Because you, you, you got to go ahead and go to your analytics and everything else and see when is the most, uh, most time when your viewers are online. Not necessarily on your channel, but online. Right, and we we were um, uh, Abraxas is I we were looking at that yesterday, and um, I know there's gonna be times that I, I'm gonna go live and people ain't gonna be on, which that ain't my fault. That all defers down to when certain people can come on my live stream, but mm -hmm. um. <coughs> Like psychic, uh, every other psychic Tuesday, my mom, I can't, hey mom, what time are we going live? Literally, that's my question to her and it's all on her. But right. I also figure that a lot of people will go back and rewatch it. Yes, they will. They will. Also, don't forget, honey, is that when you are uploading everything else, a lot of people make the bad mistake, and I see it happening over and over again, okay? When you do these live streams and you got content you're talking about or whatever the case would be, just because you tweeted it out one time in that one day, do not, quote, dads, read my lips. Do not stop tweeting it out. Now, you say, well, dad, you can only allow a certain amount of tweets for each each uh, one you're tweeting out. Not true. On Twitter, as long as you put, hey, check it out, hey, or another word that's with the tweet that is not duplicate tweet. Right. Twitter will keep on letting it be tweeted out on Facebook and everything else. Facebook, a lot of people uh, fail to realize, you know, get active on your Facebook. Dad's very active on his Facebook. And Dad is else. very active and Dad shares a lot of live streams on his. I do. And I also watch a lot of stuff and everything else so that when I go ahead and I automatically, when I upload a video, I have it tied into where as soon as I upload a video, it goes out to Twitter and Facebook. I don't even have to do anything, okay? But if I want to retweet it and add something, that's when I physically have to go ahead and do it. But I would say strongly, strongly, if anybody wants to get one major thing, is don't stop. When you put up a new video for one week straight, that one video should be tweeted out every day, one time. Every day, one time. Don't miss a day or whatever. Because what ends up happening is, I don't know if you've ever noticed that some videos will take off in the beginning. Then it starts to die down and everything right. else. Right. Because the algorithm is saying, okay, you know. It, you got it's... your time. Let's move on. Yes. Now, but if kind of going off of that one, because I know, like, I'm in a rebranding right now. What... Which means I have to change all of my stuff to match my YouTube. Mm -hmm. How bad would it be to rebrand at like 15,000 subs? 30,000 subs? If When you do a rebranding, now, you know Dad had his other channel before, Lunatic Dad Uncensored, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a great question you just asked. Kyle now took that channel because dad could not handle two channels. I was like, I can barely handle the one, let alone two. Well, he took it and he put it as his drumming. He made it a different name. I forgot the drowning Alice or something like that. Right. Now he cannot do anything with that channel until another 60 days, they said, or whatever, so that he could start put, putting it, but he's putting out all his music. Now what ends up happening is when you rebrand, if it's content with it, then I would say start over if you're going to change that content completely.
But if you're going to keep the same content, but you change the name because you like, you know what? I want to put a little bit dazzle to my channel. I want to sizzle it up a little bit or whatever the case may be. Then I would strongly suggest definitely change your banner like you did. Fantastic job. It looks awesome. You did a great job on it. You know who and did that for me? Who? Alex. Uh, well, see, Alex this, is the 15 year never... old. Wow. Well, he's good at what he does. Yeah. He's good at what he does. I'm like, hey, and... Alex, will you build me a banner? He's like, yeah, as we're playing Dead by Daylight, he's like, Hope. you know, in between the matches, he's doing it. It took him three matches to finish it and send it to me. Unbelievable. He's talented. He's, he's very, very talented. talented. Very talented. But again, when you rebranding is. It's not easy now. It's not easy only because you got to understand the algorithm got used to seeing lunatic dad. Right. And when, when the baby comes and everything else, we're making a big tough decision here. Is it going to be lunatic dad or is it going to be angry dad? Okay. That would be a major rebranding of the name that has been out there nine years. I would okay, put that. angry dad because that just shows that you're like, angry all the time but well i'm not angry all the time a lot no of, i'm not a lot no, of the videos are where you're just like hanging out with your family laughing joking them or, playing pranks or, on you or it could be grandpa lunatic could be that or lunatic I'd grandpa keep lun uh, <sighs> but maybe it gets lunatic pa because well, i mean that's up to dipshit what he wants to do. Like I right. said, I, I, you know, I, to me anyway, I mean, but it's that type of rebranding, but I wouldn't have to worry about changing the content because it's the same content. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm only saying for like Kyle, he literally on lunatic. It was a great question. You said, girl, I swear to God, lunatic dad uncensored was basically a spawn off of lunatic dad, except a little bit more vile on the live streams and everything else. Right. But now when he went ahead and did uh, his band, Drowning Alice, if you notice, all the videos are gone because he's rebranding the channel to his band's channel and right. everything. Which... Even though it came from Lunatic Dad Uncensored, but when he uploads a video finally or whatever, people are going to be like, why did I get a notification? Because the one you rebrand, remember, you don't lose your subscribers. You don't right. lose any of that. That all stays and everything else. But when people in the beginning, they're going to have to get used to seeing a different name pop up and everything else. So whenever you have the opportunity, as much as you can, if you're on a live stream or whatever the case may be, make sure you let people know, hey, I rebranded my channel. I renamed my channel. So if you get a notification, just don't swipe it because sometimes YouTube will send out recommendations and everything else. And if you're not used to seeing a certain recommended channel from youtube or whatever you may just swipe it be like nah i'm not watching that. i'm not watching it and they might end up sw uh uh swiping you <laughs> right and that, that's part of the thing that i've been doing on a lot of my live streams is it's girl froggy now known as lunatic froggy yeah you are a fucking lunatic i ain't gonna lie about that that's for damn sure you people have no fucking clue how fucking crazy this broad is hey Trust me. you know what they, uh, they, they can come check it out and find out how crazy I am. Yes, yes. And I would urge anybody. And again, uh, this is our little uh, uh, point that in which I say, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to her right there. Lunatic Frog. And make sure you subscribe to her and everything else. Give that thumbs up. Tweet this shit out. Share it on your Facebook, Instagram, come, whatever the hell type of damn thing you have and everything else. Make sure you share out my daughter because you know what? She's got busting ass content. She's busting her ass, working hard. And go back into some of her other videos that maybe you guys haven't even realized she uploaded. Okay, we can go on. Yeah, one of the best videos I've ever done was uh, Cemetery with Families. And it's not clickbait. My children were there with me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It was just one of the best videos because mm. all of my kids, I mean, my daughter was out taking pictures and you can see her walking and you hear a spirit call her pretty. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So you basically got the, sometimes with the family sitting on your channel and everything. Right. Else. Sometimes and that, 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 they're on kinda, there. That's kind of cool. 
I try to keep my 16 year old off because I mean he's 16 but yeah. my daughter is 23 I think she's above an adult I try to keep all my family off but they still keep on popping on the fucking camera there I don't know how to stop this from happening but it is what uh, it is <laughs> make sure that your room is in a separate area for where they can enter yeah, that ain't gonna happen. I, I I like my little desk area. I know I like your little desk area too. Too bad you're gonna have to clean wax up for a week. <laughs> yeah, people, you have no idea. Froggy went ahead and sent her fucking demon over to my house, and the damn thing knocked over the damn scent things. You know because Froggy uh, sells these scent things and everything no, else. No, Froggy don't. My friend, well, Mama's happy scent sells scents. There. There. So. Yeah, she gave, she made sure that dad can never sell them, so she knocked my shit over with a fucking curse. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> Froggy's not so damn innocent on this shit, trust me. She sends her damn demons. Whenever Froggy gets emotional, just want to let people know. I know this is a little off topic, but whenever she gets emotional or frustrated or angry, trust me, she just puts a damn spell on you and everything else. And then, once she does that, starts seeing shit fly around your fucking house. She does it all the time to me, all the damn time. I never once put a spell like oh, that. Oh, then then what do you talk about that damn thing when we were not even you on went, here and it fell over? You went to go show me and it, you forgot it was plugged into the wall. Can't you see? We just <laughs> I just committed click fucking bait. That was my example. I just committed click fucking bait. See? See how that turned? You told the truth and I, I fabricated a little bit and it's click bait. You're right, which is totally fine because at the end of the day, literally, we are discussing clickbait. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Another form of clickbait is I beat my child and I take a fucking licorice rope and beat him with it. Yeah. Or how about, how about, hey, we're going to your realm. We're going to your paranormal realm. Ooh. I seen a ghost. Oh, the heat, the ghost talked to me. And then they, you go ahead and play the video. And you don't hear nothing. There ain't literally nothing. Well, and everything else. okay, I want to discuss that one real quick while you throw that up. Because some people do have the ability to talk to spirits. But. Again, if I threw up a video and said, I heard this, and, or I talked to a spirit, you would hear my necrophonics. Even if I could hear them, you would hear the necrophonics going off in the background. Why? Because of the simple fact that way you can hear what the spirits are saying. That's so, not what I'm talking about, lovey. I'm talking about on a live you're... stream. I'm saying when a person's on a live stream and they say, I heard this. I heard that. You hear this? Yeah. Uh, and then you got like five, six people together. Yeah, no, that sounded like dick. I mean, ass. I mean, uh, toes. I mean, ears. I mean, wh right. what? which one is it that you freaking heard? I'm just saying. Exactly. Just saying. Like, I would never go on a live stream and be like, oh, my God, did you hear hey or whatever just because i hear something doesn't mean everybody else is going to hear it so i'm not going to be like hey just say hey you heard hey with me <laughs> that's or what i'm talking about one of my favorite ones we got chased down by whatever and it's like you got chased down by what the people you hired to chase you you know, the big ones, the big right. paranormal people, they clickbait the shit, shit out, out of their it. stuff. And, I mean, like, me and you discussed this before a while back about how it just seems so odd that every time the camera's on, paranormal activity happens. What's your reality? Die chances out of 10. When you turn that fucking camera on, ain't no paranormal shit happening. Exactly. Because That's they're going to be like, oh, I don't. You're, I have seen so many people that have literally, oh, we missed it. I had the camera off. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And how about how about when people turn around, and, and I don't mean to bash your paranormal community, but hey. They're it's the ones my, that do it the most. It's part of clickbait now and everything else is that they'll turn around and 
you know, I've seen it up on TV and everything else. Things in which everything's triggered by remote and everything else. Doors are opening. Doors are slamming and everything else. I'm sitting there looking at this. I'm like, there ain't no damn way in hell. You go into every freaking room that there is freaking ghosts and paranormal activity happening. Right. In every In every room. In every room. No, no. It happen bullshit. in every room. Hell no. You're lucky if you get it one time. Like I said, I mean, if you can catch something. Or whatever, because they always say up on a camera. I don't. I'm not very educated on this. That the camera will catch something that the human eye will not catch. Right. And everything. That they say I don't that, know why. But because of the spectrums of the cameras that they're building nowadays, they're not going to get a, as good evidence as if you were using a camera from the older days. Hmm. Do you think that people get into the paranormal? I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think people get into the paranormal uh, activity and everything else because it's so easy to fake? Some, yes. Some, like me and Abraxas, we actually want to go out there and discover true paranormal activity. Um, but there is a lot of people uh, that do go out there and they fake the hell out of it. Um, I know. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel when you're out there trying to truly find something and you know for sure that these people are full of shit? How does that really make it you feel? It I mean, the hell out of me. Doesn't make you angry? It don't make me angry because of the simple fact that they want to clickbait. They could go ahead and clickbait. But I know I won't clickbait and I won't fake shit because the second you fake shit, you should. It, it's no longer valid. Right, right. But. Uh, but these same ass people and everything else that are doing that and everything, making all this money and everything else, and you're sitting there like, man. I'm actually legit, and I'm not getting out there like these people because they got all the nice choreograph, all the nice filming, all the nice lighting, everything else, and it's all jury-rigged already before they right. even get into the place. You know, because I watched this one. I forgot the name of the damn place, uh, the person. It was in uh, Connecticut. They went to a haunted house or whatever, and as soon as they walked in, uh, things were uh, coming at the door. You know, like being thrown at them and everything. And I'm like, now, I know damn well that's clickbait. I, I, not clickbait, but it's just, you know, all set up. There's no way you're going to open up a door and all of a sudden shit flying at you and everything else. Um, no way. There is a way, but homie did go in there and prepare. I will tell you that. And preparing that, you might as well fucking just call a priest to exorcist yourself. Because what they did was they went in and they something summoned something horrible. Yeah. Well, well, that now you understand why I don't fuck with the paranormal. Sorry, guys. It's, yeah. Dad, Dad already hangs out with a couple of paranormal people, and they 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 go ahead and do some strange things to Dad. Like Froggy already knocked down my incense thing and everything else. But otherwise, and your hmm. Wi-Fi. Oh yeah. Well, you know that's coming. <laughs> Maybe not. We might get lucky today. We better so, get lucky today. Well, uh, I'd like to get though. Anyway. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> so, okay. Now, let's get back on topic. We we entertained the people a little bit. So, let, Actually, let's get back on topic. Actually, we were on topic and well entertaining. Oh, we were, we were entertaining? We were talking about clickbait. Oh, we were entertaining, too. Which oh. is the topics we were talking about because... Because it's part of how to maintain your channel and what not to do. Also, 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 when you first get monetized, and I would even say this even when you're not monetized. When there's a comment on your channel that, that catches your eye, the reason why you want to pin a comment on every video, every video, is that you want to go ahead and if someone like says a lot about your video starts talking about something that happened in the beginning the middle and the end they start leaving things in there or whatever dad those type of comments that are long and everything else dad loves to go ahead and pin those comments because what ends up happening is when you got new people coming in or whatever the case may be they're going to go ahead and look and they're going to they're going to see your comments like dad gets a lot of comments on his videos hold so, on dad we're going to have to pause this 
Okay, that's by you. I mean, I'm surprised it hasn't went out already. I mean, we're this deep into this great uh, conversation we're having and everything else about do's and don'ts of YouTube and everything. But again, oh, that's what I was talking about about uh, about making sure you pin somebody's comment every time. I don't care if you only got three comments on your videos, two comments. If there's one, it doesn't matter. Pin You've one got of them. Pin one of them, and don't just pick somebody that you know. That is a big no-no. Dad does pin certain people's comments, like Froggy, of course, because you're my daughter, and everything else, or Brexit, or whatever. If it's a comment to which, you know, that really catches my eye or whatever the case may be. Right. Because I am true to myself when I say, you know, that if someone gets into in-depth about your video, and if someone just says nice video, don't pin it. Don't. Don't. Right. You're, because you're cheapening your content by pinning that type of comment. But if someone says, hey, Froggy, you know, it was pretty cool when you were talking about with all these incenses and perfumes. I like this one brand. How do I get a hold of you? How do I get this? Whatever. Now they're engaged in your video, and that is worthy of pinning a comment. Pinning a comment is highly important when you are monetized. Highly important. That because is. Because what ends up happening is as you get bigger and more views and more views and more views, now people, believe it or not, are fighting to get their comment pinned. Why? Because every time that someone clicks on your video, that comment pinned, they're getting exposure to their channel. They're getting exposure. Right. And that's... Like with that, on some of my real gigantic videos, I rotate the pin comments no one ever called that out on it you know like hey why why did you change it and everything else or whatever the reason why is because i go through all the comments and i that way you know because there's so many on those gigantic videos that right. have like a thousand comments or whatever then i'll go through them and they may be two years ago three years ago the person might have no longer watched lunatic dad but if they're on youtube and i pin their comment they're gonna be like Oh shit, I haven't seen him in a long time. I better go check out his content again or whatever. Trust me. So in other words, what you're saying is it brings people back. It can, it can, it most definitely can. And and one thing, like I said, dad doesn't do it because it's just too many comments for dad to do and everything else. But I would strongly suggest if you're the type of channel that gets 10, 15 comments on a video or whatever. Make sure that you're acknowledging each and every one of them because it doesn't take long. You can put a heart. Even if you don't say something back, put a heart because we all know on YouTube the heart, it'll get a notification back to the person who wrote, took the time to watch your video and put them nice comments for you and everything else. They're going to be like, oh, they gave me a heart. Cool. Thank you. And everything else. Right. I mean, it, that thing on YouTube, bro, you know, being appreciative of your fans who watch your stuff and take their time to watch your stuff. That's your way as the creator to sit there and tell them, hey, thank you. You know, I do appreciate it. Exactly. And I feel that we all should be doing that based on the simple fact that they take the time out of their day to watch our content and comment on it. Exactly. Exactly. And like I said, besides, with, and oh, and another thing, and dad runs into this, and you know, I always, you hear on dad's videos, put your damn bell on. Put your damn bell on. If there's the, if, if you're willing to go ahead and subscribe to somebody, well, if you're going to subscribe to them, evidently you like their content. If you like their content, don't you want to be notified when they're uploading something? Don't you want something, them to go ahead and acknowledge that that they that they're doing this for you and everything else so put your fucking bells on people gotta put your bells on i have my bells on certain channels but um i actually have notifications on my phone phones turned off mm. for one reason mm. let's say me and you are sitting here and we're going live all you're going to hear is ding, 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 ding. Because 50 other people sat here and went live or posted a video. Correct, correct, correct. And matter of fact, that's why I never mess with Roy's phone because they give me a headache from all the dinging. Well, if Roy's... all of our accounts... Well, all of our accounts are on all of our phones. Right. Right. So he don't have the notifications turned off. I have the notifications turned off. So when it hits his phone, I'm like, 
who just went live and he'll tell me and I'll be like, all right. And also, a big major thing on bars when you're monetized and everything else. Don't forget, eight minutes or more, people. I have seen so, I mean, you have no idea, my daughter, how many people make this mistake when they get fully monetized and they upload a video. They depend on YouTube to place the ads. They will, YouTube will, but they're only going to put on three. One in the beginning, one in the middle, one in the end. Uh -uh. You have the ability as the creator to go customize that video. You hit the customization down on your dashboard, go all the way down to customization, go to the video, go ahead and hit the dollar sign. There's going to be a dollar sign because it's monetized and it's going to ask you, do you want to play, do your own placement of ads? Dad on an eight minute video or more will put literally six to seven ads on the videos that increases your revenue of when you're fully monetized. You will literally see it jump at least, I guarantee you 20% than what you normally make on that video just by making sure that you're placing your ads in its proper place. If you got a nine minute video, go in the beginning, always. YouTube does that anyway if it's monetized. They automatically give you the one. After that, minute and a half. After that, three minutes. After that, four and a half. After that, five. Five and a half, seven, eight, and then nine. Boom. Now you had the correct way of trying to maximize your potential earnings on YouTube is by hitting and putting all the proper placement of your ads. Ads placement is very important. Which is why Froggy has premium. Because without premium, Rocky does not watch <laughs> YouTube because I hate ads. But you know the funny part about it, hon? Every time there would have been an ad, okay, Every time there would have been an ad, even though you're not getting the ads, it's ad free. Right. But the content creator is making more money off people who have YouTube premium who watch their videos. It's literally 10% more than just the average person who doesn't have YouTube premium. Remember, 10% people, are you willing to throw away 10% or whatever? No. So the YouTube premium people, such as dad, that has YouTube premium too. I don't, I don't watch ads. And everything but <laughs> when i watch a whole video or whatever and you're monetized yeah you're getting all the revenue completely from that and everything else now you say well dad it's you know it's only a couple pennies here a couple pennies there okay so if if, if you make say eight dollars twelve dollars a video whatever the case may be and you're very active content creator and everything else and say you're putting up you know 30 live streams 40 live streams in a month or whatever some videos and everything else you do the math on eight to ten dollars times all that and you come back and tell me if it's not worth it so because because it is my question and i know we discussed this in the previous one but i really want to hone in on this content live content and shorts why are they so important after you're monetized compared to beforehand that's a very good question. First off, shorts is a good way to make some real quick money, okay? And the reason why with the shorts in is because naturally if you put up a short and it and it hits a lot more viewers and everything else. Now, they got the one minute shorts, okay? Now that's the one and when when dad does shorts and everything, I do the one minute one and everything right. else. Because YouTube will also turn around, believe it or not, put an ad on the shorts. They put ads on there now, yes, people. Yes, they do. So it doesn't know, I mean, YouTube and uh, people that are putting these ads, paying the money for this and everything else, they turn around. You're making money off of this, okay? You're making money. But far as being able to put more ads, that's when you got your regular videos. Now, when you are monetized, 99.99999% of the time, if someone comes into your live stream, I guarantee you an ad will pop up before they come into that live stream. Yes, if anybody, if anybody's been in dad's live stream, I guarantee you an ad has popped up for you and everything else. But the nice part about when you are fully monetized and everything else, go back into all your live streams. Remember, you have an hour. You can place ads all over that sucker. <laughs> everywhere. I mean, I... 
like I said, Abrex is uh, he's getting closer and closer to his fully monetization and everything else. He's got a lot of work to do. Okay, I far got a as, lot of work to do. You got a lot of work to do, but you're gonna have to go back through all them videos and place all these freaking ads. So in other words, bring a laptop up to Illinois and we can sit there and do That's it. That's it. We we can we probably go through about 10, 10 pots of fucking coffee and everything else or whatever the hell else. Because trust me, it is. But the nice part about it is, is that YouTube does make it so easy to do your ad placement. It is so super fast. Once you get rolling, I mean, I can literally go and do it in less than dad not the most smartest guy electronically i can do it in 30 seconds put up eight ads into any one of my videos like that that's how easy it is they make it now now the dues of another thing man girl you got that flowing with the the brain the brain is getting hot it's getting hot i'm getting really hot now as long as it don't start melting we're good <laughs> well it could melt but this is very important people very important when you've got multiple high view videos, you know how like you always see people's channel trailer and everything else when you first come to it. I actually have a trailer tra uh, channel trailer. Yes, but the point I'm trying to stress to people that are listening to this, listen to that. This is so important. When you've got multiple ones, rotate them. Don't leave the same channel trailer so if you have like that that has 37 videos over 100,000 views okay i will go ahead and see on my analytics it'll tell me which videos are starting to get a lot of pop and everything else then i will go ahead and change my channel trainer i've changed the channel trailer at least so at least no one's noticed it or even asked at least 30 times in my time where i've changed it and now like that's my, just like videos of Anything with my destruction always goes as the channel trailer. I mean, let's face it. You know, I fuck shit up. People like fucking shit up. So they enjoy right. me fucking shit up. And, but no, that is highly, highly important. And do not, or, or if there's a video that you feel should have been so much better and should have done so much better and you worked hard on it and it's good quality content, then go ahead and change your channel trailer to that. Because, you know, there's a lot of times the thing that gets uh, YouTubers down and make them feel uh, like that, man, this isn't worth it and everything else is because they're working hard at trying to do something and they don't get the reaction that they really felt that they should have gotten. And it really hurts them and everything yeah. else. Because if you care about what you're doing and you care about your content, well, then it should hurt. It should hurt. That means that you're in it for the win it is what I call it. You're in to win it. Right. And. And I always will say this to anybody that's listening to this. There is the do's and don'ts of YouTube, but that is definitely a do. Change your channel trailer to your most popular videos. Like I said, if you look on Lunatic Dad's one now, the newest video that has been released and everything, I changed that to Dad's channel trailer. I literally removed one, not removed, but I just took it out of the channel trailer. Dad destroys the TV. Almost, what, 700,000 views? Mm -hmm. Now, I could have left that there. You know, a new person comes in. Holy shit, he's got 700,000 views. Oh, my God. But that's such an old video and everything else. I said, no, I want to put the newer content up on a channel trailer. Now, you have the ability, not just the channel trailer. This is one thing I love about YouTube. Listen up, people. You got to listen up. You got the channel trailer, but then you also got the returning people that come to your channel, which means they may not have seen that video that video could be three years ago and they subscribed you only a month ago okay so now they come back to your channel and they see that one video of dad destroys tv or dad destroys kitchen or dad destroys whatever the fuck i'm destroying and everything else and there's different things you can have the ability to go ahead and change it to when new when your existing subscribers come back so remember you got new subscribers that you can put the one channel trailer and then you got the other one which is for when new people i mean old people that are already part of your channel come back they can watch that video always always don't forget always put up the one that is most eye popping views i don't care what anybody says it ain't about subscribers it's about the views because the subscribers will come if you're putting up good quality content. It will come. 
and everything else. You just got to be patient. Sometimes, you know, YouTubers get impatient and everything else, and they walk away or they give up on it and everything else. But the true YouTubers, the one that really love doing YouTube and everything else, will stick with it. And they'll be like, no, I'll be damned. I got my mindset, what I want to do, and I'm going to achieve what I want to do. And you know what? As I said before, I wish that YouTube would go back to the original days when I started YouTube. Believe it or not, honey, in order to get monetized, you know what you needed only? Uh... What do you think? What do you think? A video? 100 subscribers. And you were fully monetized. But what ended up happening back then in the beginning is that the, the sponsors and all the ad people and everything else are saying, why are we putting ads on videos where they get 10 views? So... Remember, everything's about marketing, marketing, marketing. So they had it to where that's why over the years they bumped it up and everything else. Now they bumped it down a little bit so that the YouTubers can at least, if they're live streaming or they have memberships and everything else on the first 3,000 hours and everything, that's YouTube's way of saying, hey, stick with it, stick with it. But here is one avenue you could make a little bit of money for yourself. Right. But but the most important one is when you get fully monetized. That is something that you should celebrate and everything else. Because as much as, you know, you can go on a lot of channels. Oh, they're monetized. This monetized. That's monetized. But you know what? As many people you see monetized, time that by 10 who are not. Right. Just like our little group, there's two people monetized out of all of us. Yeah. Yeah. And, but my goal is, and it always has been, is like I said, you, I want you monetized, but I want you fully monetized and everything else. That's very important to dad. It's very important to me. I mean, because, you know, when, when you put your heart and soul into something, I mean, I, I'm just type of person that believes in if you put your heart and soul into something, you work hard, you, you should be, you know, you should be uh, monetized and something for yourself and everything else. That's, you know. Some people might call that, oh, you're a greedy dad. You're just, no, I'm not. I, I just feel that a person deserves what they put into something. Right, which is why I, with the way my channel has grown and changed, and I'll put it that way, mm -hmm. that is why I put the content out that I do. Yes, I go walk cemetery still. But guess what? Mm -hmm. I'm out exercising. I'm out going out there and walking them and everything else. Um, but like Psychic Tuesdays, it's something that really hones in on me because my mom, um, a lot of my friends. Um, I do have to make content for when my mom's not on there. But mm -hmm. again, we'll probably discuss how the previous Tuesday <coughs> went and everything else. Um, also, more about psychics. Learn more about them and their abilities and all of that. I do have other special guests coming up. I just slowly getting them. I'm not just going out there. I have a YouTube channel. Will you be on my YouTube channel? No. Um, we addressed earlier my small business Mondays. How I'm going to... It's actually going to get changed up a little bit on it. What I want to do in now is when I order from a small business, I'm going to record me ordering it. And then I'll record me unboxing it. Um, and really be able to say, see, I do support small businesses. And I think that's important because, mm -hmm. as you know... You could go to Domino's, you could go to Pizza Hut, but to find a small pizza business that's, you know, out of the blue, Thriving. whatever, mm -hmm. they might have better pizza. Mm -hmm. Them are the ones that usually do, by the way, right. huh? because they're fighting for everything they can get. So they want to put out the highest of quality, the most meat, cheese. They want to make that sucker like, hey, forget about the damn Pizza Huts and Domino's. Fuck that. I wanna, uh, I'm going to... Papa Luigi or whatever. <laughs> right. You know? And there's a couple small businesses here where I live that I want to support. And then there's a Froggy's restaurant over by Greenville that I want to support. So Froggy's. at the end of the day, 
those are the three, you know, I'm going to do those on Mondays or record right. it over the weekend and then throw it up. Um, nice. nice. <laughs> there's going to be weekends where me and dad have pre-records that we did months ago because yeah. Froggy's out exploring the woods or something and dad's, I don't know, exploring In the bathroom. Mom. <laughs> oh, whoa. Hey, you, you do realize she watches your content. Just let you know that. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you I know that. I know Mom does. watches me, but <laughs> I mean, it was better than saying explore in the back of your uh, big rig, but. I'll explore anything that's got fur. <laughs> I mean, it's all right. That's not a problem. That's not a problem, I tell you that. Uh, but, I mean, so. On the basis of like how I want my channel to be, yes, I have to learn editing. That's a big thing. Um, yes, I have to learn how to stop being so negative to myself. Which, question on you. Question for you and on oh. you. Thanks. After you get your channel growing, I know there's always peaks, you know, where you get up so high and then it plateaus and then you go up so high and plateaus. How do you keep yourself from be feeling negative in those plateaus? Well, when I go to the peaks and valleys is what I like to call them, is when you never get too high, never get too low, first off. Because remember, YouTube is all, it's just an algorithm, people. That's all it is. It's just an algorithm engine. That's all it is. Now, again, always when you first upload a video on the day or whatever, you're going to see an uptick in your views and everything else. But what always goes ahead and keeps dad level-headed where I don't get down or whatever the case may be is because I have so much content out there and everything else. So there's never really a point, probably per hour, like I told you before, I might have said it before, on an average, my channel overall for the whole hour gets about 1200 to 1500 views an hour that's usually about the average on lunatic dad's channel i'm now, proud of that because i literally throw up lunatic dad and go to sleep oh i appreciate Not saying that. you're boring it's i'll no, have it up okay. on the computer and you know i'm boring but that's all no, right no, no, no. i have it up on the computer and then i listen so i can't hear it because the only way i can hear is through my headphones Mm -hmm. But then I have, so I can watch you, but I can't hear you. Then I just put on some, you know, nice meditation music. And watching so, you destroy shit, yeah, listening I to meditation it. music is actually really calming. <laughs> I, okay, I would like to try put meditation music into Lunatic Dad's videos. That might be a suggestion. I don't know how that would go off, but the reason, you'd be like, hmm. The reason why is because... Okay, somebody who loves destroying shit, gets mad, punches a wall, gets mad, throws shit. I'm, yeah. I'm you 100%. Mm. I am fucking your child without have, being your child, okay? True, true. To watch you just get all the anger out and then just Feels hear good. that calm yeah. while you're doing it, you're just like, should I be hyped because he's doing this or should I be calm? And it confuses your brain to the point you're just like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy this calm. Get him, Dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, again, a lot of people will tell you. I mean, not just me, but a lot of people. When you, when you just vent and finally just scream or yell or you get it completely out or whatever, you feel better, you know, because it's no longer kept up inside you and everything else. But, you know, I and do honestly, take shit to an extreme. I think that's where a lot uh -huh. of people have issues is they just love things to be pent up. But I know that with people like me who are afraid of failure, and that is my big thing, is I'm horrified of failure. Let me tell you something, huh? This is a little bit off topic. Like I said, I do, I do watch your channel. You know that religiously. And I've been monitoring it and everything else. And from where you've been six months ago to you where you are now, it's light and day. 
Right. And and I do understand why you left for all that time and didn't upload and everything else. You've explained that many times and everything. And you know what? I'm glad you broke through that and everything else. Because sometimes as YouTubers, we always get that mental block where right. we're just like, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to go live. I don't want to do a video. Fuck it. And then we just put down the damn computer. You know how many times where I wanted to hit the live button on my channel in this, even in this last two, three weeks, I'm sitting right in front of here, just like you and everything else. And I'm ready to hit that button. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want it. And everything else. Which is be then really distracts you from, it, it hinders you in a way. Yeah, and well, don't forget, I, I told you before, uh, I enjoy this podcast, what we do and everything else. I have more joy out of it and everything else because, again, I can just speak from experience, my heart, or whatever the subject is and everything else. I don't have to worry about a comments. chat. Yeah. Right, I, I don't have to worry about a chat. I don't have to worry about people saying things and me and acknowledging and everything else. This is just our thoughts and everything else, and it was a great idea that you put together. I mean, it really was. I mean, you decided to do a podcast with me and you. I mean, I mean, what the hell? You got two jabber jaws that can't shut the hell up, but hey, right. that's, that's, that's the American way. Just and, and sometimes we get off topic, but yeah, we did. do. We our off topic is literally on topic. Holy shit. I'm on a freaking live uh thing. We're talking, you didn't shut the damn door, dad. This dude, holy shit. I'm Hi, not, dad. he just called me bullshit. <laughs> what the f you know, I'm hoping nobody sees some of this shit. They're gonna be like, shit, dad, mom messing with him, had dad calling him full of shit. Lunatic grandpa is at it again. Oh, he'd be one. Oh, God. If, when the day you come and everything else, I'm hoping he's here. Oh, my God. Just have the shit fucking filming because that man, he won't shut the fuck up. You will have content for fucking 10 years. <laughs> Just have the fucking. I'm telling you, there's a lot of times where, you know, where he's like, hey, you're going to have the you're going to have the camera going. You're going to have the camera. I'm like, dude, really? He's like, I got thoughts. I got thoughts. You need to listen. I'm like, oh, OK. Hmm. Well, he probably does have thoughts. 100%. All right, Dad, we are coming up to the one hour mark. Nice, nice. We did it. We did it again. We did it. We did it. We did we it. We always do it because we love mm. talking to each other. Yeah, I, I just like looking at your tits. I, no, never mind. <laughs> whoops, whoops, whoops. Sorry, you guys didn't hear that. Bleep that out. Beep. Beep. So, Dad, <laughs> any famous last words? Yes, I would. Of everything that if you have learned anything today, from my daughter, Lunatic Froggy, and Lunatic Dad, if you learned anything about YouTube, make sure you're giving that thumbs up and say what part that you did not know about YouTube. If you can get to this part, it would be much appreciated. And remember, remember, do things the right way. You will be successful on YouTube. You will, you will be successful. It's going to take time, but you got to have the patience. Things don't happen overnight. The only thing I can say is I'm going to turn it over to my daughter and i love her and make sure you hit that fucking subscribe button and the like button and the share button go get them girl all right guys we want to thank everybody for coming out and watching our videos we hope you really like our podcast we love making it for you um be prepared to watch it every saturday that's a normal day sometimes we throw up extra videos sometimes we don't it all depends so make sure you watch um again thank you all <laughs> don't forget to comment like and subscribe and we hope you have an amazing day love y'all bye, bye.